What's going on YouTube? Man, guys, I'm excited as fuck. Finally able to bring you some workout footage of me in the gym. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have a consecutive gym partner that can come record for me. Um, so I went ahead and got me a tripod for my camera. So hopefully now I'll be able to bring you guys some more footage. But yeah, as you can see by the title, this is my 700 rep workout. Um, seven different exercises. And each exercise is broken up into five sets of 20, with an exception of one. Um, this is my high volume day for my legs. I got two leg days a week, so this is my high volume one. I'm jumping it off with some squats. As you can see in this first clip, I'm just warming up with the bar, man. I like to do a couple sets with the bar, you know, then stretch a little afterwards. Kind of get my joints and my muscles warmed up and ready for the workout, man. Uh... As you can see here, I got 165 on the bar. Not a lot of weight, guys. I'm going to be honest, you don't need a lot of weight with this shit, man. Um, five sets of 20. If you think you're going to come in here and lift crazy-ass weight, I mean, you might get away with it for the first few sets. But I know definitely for that last set, it will fuck you off. So, I mean, I make sure that I at least get 20, 20 reps each set. It's mandatory, guys. You can't fall short on these. I don't be doing... Uh, a set and I only get 18 or I only get 20 two times and then 18 and no 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 each set I make sure I get 20 I don't rack the weight until I get 20 so this is my first set here guys make sure you hit in depth man I see a lot of people in the gym you know doing squats they don't hit depth they go about like 45 degrees and and then they come up I mean that that shit yeah you get a light little burn on your quads but you're not actually working the muscles, man. You're not putting in the glutes, the hams, the quads, everything, man. So make sure you hit depth. I threw in this clip here just to show you guys that um, this is my actually this is my fifth set, and that shit gets tough. So you know, 165, man. You know, it feels like the first couple of sets, but that last set, man, it really fucks you up. It gets your legs burning like some type of STD. Uh, matter of fact, let me take that back, man. I don't want you guys trying to insinuate I know what that feels like because I don't. But, yeah, so, you know, see, I, I'm actually breaking it up into, like, threes now. Uh, it, it, it gets rough, man. It gets rough. So, you know, like I said, first set, this is squats that I'm doing, making sure I'm hitting depth, keeping my shoulder blades tight. Uh, you see, my back is not rounding at the bottom, man. A lot of people's back round at the bottom due to the fact that they're not opening up their hips enough so make sure you open up your hips prevent from uh your back rounding at the bottom and keep nice strict form on these man no need to cheat leave the ego in the parking lot okay so um here now i'm moving to uh deadlifts i don't know if you guys have this bar at your gym or whichever gym you may go to some gyms have it some gyms don't um, I like this a little bit better than using the conventional barbell for the deadlifts, man. It allows me to be a little more explosive uh, without having to worry about the barbell getting in my way. Sometimes if I try to be too quick and explosive on the deadlifts, the bar will scrape my knees or scrape my shins or something. And I, I'm not down for that shit. So, uh, you know, definitely use this if you can. You know, you see my back is tight, shoulder blades pressed together. That prevents from my back rounding because, you know, like I said, you want strict, you want strict good form on these. Um, the third exercise that I did was uh, leg press. You see, I put my feet close together. Uh, I went five plates on each side. Uh, keep the feet close together, man. I wanted to work on my uh, outer quad sweep a little bit. So that's why I went with my feet like this. Uh it's a good burn man you you definitely feel this shit for sure definitely i know some of you might talk shit about my form making it seem like i'm not going deep enough so i'm gonna hit y'all with another angle to let y'all see that i am hitting depth it's just my my legs are big man i don't know if y'all seen my posing videos but i got pretty decent sized legs man so you know i am going deep it's just that's pretty much as, as much as my legs will allow me to go man for the most part yeah, see, this is the second angle. Hit y'all with this shit, man. But yeah, definitely a good exercise for the quads, man. That's why I like these, man. Definitely. And uh, like I said, five sets of 20 with this. <clears throat> you 
Now right here I go on to uh, leg extensions. Make sure you guys pause at the top, man. I see a lot of people come in and do the quick reps with these shits. Make sure you, you get a nice squeeze at the top, man. Um, at this point in time, you really don't need a lot of weight. Once you get to this exercise, you really will not need a lot of weight at all. So make sure the most important thing, though, to keep in mind is just make sure you get that nice squeeze. Hold it at the top, man, so you can get that nice burn in your legs. And like I said, this is my first uh, leg workout of the week. I got two two different leg days of the week. This one is my high volume, high reps. Um, and then later on in the week, I'll do legs again, but I'll do more of a 8 to 12 uh, rep range in my sets. This is just everything, you know, at least 20. Then I move on here to the lying leg curls. Um good for the hamstrings you see again I try to pause at the top of the movement you know don't 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 think that you need a lot of weight to get a good workout man I know some of you guys if y'all familiar with Kai Green you see how he work out you know he he's really he's really uh stuck on that good form and and making sure you get a nice squeeze and contraction you know, stretch and contraction in the muscles. So you really don't need a lot of weight, man. Alright, moving forward. Um, coming over here to work calves. You can't do legs without training calves, man. Um, I like to get in the Smith machine and put this little stepper here. I really feel like it enables me to get a good stretch at the bottom. Um, a lot of people want to say calves are genetics, which, you know, genetics do play a big part in calves, but that doesn't mean you can't work them, man. A lot of times people come to do calves and they just bounce around on them. You really need to focus on getting a nice stretch with a pause and then a contraction with a pause. See, at the top I pause, at the bottom I pause. You know, make sure you guys do that. That's really how you build the calves and, and really gain size in them, man. And by the way, I'm going to also go ahead and I'm going to put the full uh, routine exercises and rep ranges in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out too. Alright, moving on. This is the last uh, exercise in the workout. This is the exception. Instead of doing 5 sets of 20, I go ahead and I do 2 sets of 50. Um, since it's a burnout, I'm not really focusing that much on you know squeezing and stretching at the bottom and top. I'm just really focusing on trying to burn out these calves, man. Just really obliterate them. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the full routine for my high volume leg day. I like to usually follow it up with some abs. Um, but yeah, if you're feeling up to it, give it a try and let me know what you think. It can be kind of intense, but you can't come to the gym and expect to see some results. And you're not training intense. And guys, if you like the video, go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that like button below comment share but most importantly subscribe and stay tuned see you guys next time